It's Haynes versus Fruit of the Loom. Let's go. The right thing for me to do would be to do a dedicated video of just the tank top review, but that probably won't be what you would expect to see here. I'm not a person who is going to give you five rules to do this, two rules to do this, this is the best way to do this, because those are all lies. All those things people are telling you are lies. Uh, and I don't talk coherently. So, okay, my hair is a whole other story. I don't know if you can see what's really going on. I don't know if I'll talk about it in this video, but I, I'm, I am having hair problems. I cut it sides too short. I mean, it looks good from straight on. I like how it looks like this. I have to edit here. As you can see, there's too much going on here. I put a baseball and a, I think it's called a monkey's knot something that's got to go away this i meant to show you in my last video it was a haul i don't even know what this is so but i am going to take that away i'm also in the middle of making my bed but i did see that there were a few things up here like this is there's way too much stuff up here anyway i think i will be minimizing in my is that a word in the upcoming months i don't know maybe i'll do 30 days of decluttering and finally tackle all of the stuff that's in that unit because i really want to do that my halloween stuff is just sitting there the halloween stuff is just sitting here hanging there these necklaces are hanging there that i never wear i will talk about these tank tops now though i'm trying to do many things at the same time which is never a good idea for me multitasking is not a good idea not a good thing to do this is the Fruit of the Loom, the Fruit of the Loom A-Top, Athletic Top, I think they call it. I did a whole review. I will link that at the end of this video so you can see me talk for an hour about tank tops. I am a little more comfortable wearing this in public since it's been a year. It's almost been, oh, I plan to record this video. Now it might be a little over a year. Anyway, it's like exactly a year since I did that video. When I bought these, I couldn't go outside with them on. And it might be because we are just coming off of summer, but we were just coming off summer then. Uh, or maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm happy, more happy with myself, um, how I look physically or something like that. I don't know. Yesterday, I was I put on one of these in the pair of shorts and I wasn't feeling good I was feeling really really skinny right now when I'm looking in the camera I don't look as skinny as I think I feel I was just I felt like I was wrinkled and old and skinny oh that's something else that I wanted to mention it's really been driving me crazy this is this is what my channel is like by the way if you're new here it's just I can't keep a steady conversation some people have said that I'm the most authentic person on YouTube which might be true because I will just stop talking about what I'm talking about and move on to the next subject I went out in public I'm remembering what I was saying I, I, uh, I was kind of I felt kind of weird I felt my my shorts were too baggy my my t-shirt was too tight Somebody did come up to me and say I had the most quintessential Canadian outfit on, though, which I don't know what exactly that meant. I guess it was warmer yesterday, and it is October. Maybe that's what they meant, because I was wearing shorts and a tank top and flip-flops, and it was, it's the end of October. Maybe that's what it's a, what she meant by that. I don't know. Anyway, it was, it's kind of a call. She, the fact that she wasn't afraid to talk to me and didn't think I was crazy and she wasn't that crazy I mean she talked to a stranger in public anyway it made me feel better also something that I noticed is a guy live in the suburbs and uh, I always feel like people are watching me I've talked about this people think I'm shoplifting all the time I don't I, I went downtown for the day and uh, no, nobody, and I saw other people being watched for being sketchy, but nobody, I, be I belong downtown, I think is something that I learned. People don't think I'm weird downtown. People think I am weird in the suburbs. Yeah, I guess I am a downtown kind of guy. This is a washed and dried, you have to wash and dry these. You also, 
see, this is this is the hippie thing that happens, and not not like peace peace and love hippie. Like uh, I like anyway. So you gotta you gotta tuck these in first of all. And I considered getting a size up when I bought the new Hanes ones. These Hanes ones. I took a Hanes one out and I washed it. So we get to see what it looks like before and after. And if you want to see what the Fruit of the Loom ones look like, I think they're going to be exactly the same. So let, uh, even though I'm supposed to be making my bed, I'm supposed to be exercising, I'm going to do all that stuff in between. But we will jump into, when you buy these, they come like this. There's six in a pack. I am loving wearing them. Uh, at this time of year because they do feel warm but they don't feel too warm and uh, that's exactly what I need because I'm always too hot but sometimes I want to feel cozy and that is what this feels like even if I am just wearing this around and I'm not feeling that self-conscious or I don't care I think that might probably look I might feel more comfortable from wearing them with pants even though it is kind of a show-offy thing and that and that was what yesterday I felt I looked way too skinny and I thought why even bother worrying about that because some people would be happy to be skinny and uh, I'm just gonna be skinny and not worry about so what I'm skinny it's better than being not skinny in in my opinion that's not nice to say for you fat people who are watching this video and that's the other thing these are size medium and I've seen like guys who look huge like I don't know they maybe they're really really short who have reviewed tank tops who are saying they're I can bear I can't squeeze into these like I really was going to go a size large and go up so that uh, I could um, like so they'd be a little loose and they wouldn't be tight on me but when you buy them this is how they fit and uh, people complain that they look like this <sighs> cotton stretches out I love these shorts they are too short for me to wear out in public uh, I get self-conscious now I had these on for a while cotton stretches out and uh, gets really sloppy and that is a problem that I have with sweatpants and sweat shorts and stuff but it doesn't happen to these that's what I'm trying to say these don't stretch out now see what happens cotton shrink when you wash cotton it shrinks this way right now I look like a a ballerina dancer that's how I it's these are way too long but these will I have a feeling that this is gonna shrink up this way I actually washed one of them so we will be able to see what happens when they wash there is something about how it feels when you put on one of the ones out of the package because it's so thin and uh, so silky and this I remember this happening when I tried on the Fruit of the Loom ones originally that it just I just want to rub myself and yeah it feels like I've got silk all over my body so I mean this is also a look where but it kind of looks and look I, I feel it looks more feminine and more it does feel I feel like a a male ballerina a male dancer in this outfit maybe flattering maybe not but and it feels amazing which I don't think I would go up there's something about having too much neck exposed for me and I don't like it I think it makes my neck look too thin nonetheless again I, ha I should embrace that I obviously I know I don't look that bad uh, and uh, thin is good I should I should do a set of pull-ups right now so let's just let's do that you can you can watch that whole thing happen
Okay, I also wanted to do that to see the shifting and you can, it did scoop under and that stuff does happen. I think with the washed Fruit of the Loom ones, it scoops back all the time. So the neck's always going back like this. This one is falling forward right now. So I don't know, it looks, this does look silly. It feels amazing, but we'll take it off. I, it's really hard to get off. I have busted, this seems, okay, this is way more stretchy at the bottom than the Fruit of the Loom. So the Fruit of the Loom, I, I'm not able to do a pull it off like that. So that is something to take in consideration. The Hanes has more stretch at the bottom where I have busted the bottoms of these. So when I put on a Fruit of the Loom once, I often hear this, this is too tight. There's no give at the bottom. So you, you, you bust the stitches on the bottom. So when I put these on and off, I usually, sorry, I don't have an un washed and dried through the loom version but yeah it does pull back you can see how short those are now but because this is so tight there's no pull here you can i will bust the stitch on the bottom here so i try to take these off like that now let's compare that to the washed one which should be right on top okay so we know which one this is Haynes because of the black stitching and we know which one is fruit of the loom because of the paler not stitching the paler logo and it's all inside tagless I guess is what they call these am I messing up my hair a bit it doesn't matter okay so this is the washed one so let's see if it still has those really long straps. And once it's washed, okay, I'm being more careful, but I don't have to be because the bottom, this stretches out. So that's, of course, I don't want to stretch it out because the last thing I want to do is get hippie. Okay. So, okay, this one's washed and dried. I uh, don't dry my darks. I dry my lights, my whites, because that's where the towels and the sheets and everything. How am I gonna hang a sheet to dry? And uh, I don't know, it's, I, I, I like, it's, it softens things when you dry them. And uh, of course you want your sheets a little bit softer. These are strappier. So I would say thinner straps, they don't, uh, it doesn't, it's not scooping back. It might scoop forward though. If I, yeah, this one's it will scoop forward, even though they are more strappy. I like that. This isn't gonna bust. I'm not gonna pop the stitches on that. I do tuck them in. Oh, and how uh, short did it get? It uh, it uh, it sh it shrunk up. I'm six feet tall. It uh, it, did tr it didn't shrink as much as sometimes the fruit of the loom. I find are they too short? Did they did they shrink too much this way? And they started out just as long, but they shrunk up. And again, this one was only washed once and dried once, washed in hot water and dried on high in the dryer. So I wanted to shrink it as much as possible. So this should be it. But I kind of like the thinner straps. I kind of like that there's more. I'm going to pop less stitches. So maybe maybe this one's better. It's, it seems thinner. When the Fruit of the Loom one was washed, it really thickened up. Is it too soon? I do really long spaces in between my pull-ups. But I'm going to do another set and we're going to see how this gets it affected. You're gonna watch me do another 12. I'm trying not to swing my legs. 
I usually do, I have been doing these outside uh, by my pool, which was so nice to do in the summertime. And uh, I could too today because it is quite warm. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Uh, yeah, I think I think I like these more. Let's let's do let's do another. And I don't have to take it off like that. Let's do another comparison with the fruit of the loom. So that was the Hanes off now. This is the fruit of the loom on now. I can't see you not um, washing and drying these. Always got to wash your whites in hot water because hot water cleans things better, gets out stains better. Um, that one's scooping down too. I guess I guess this is scooping forward as well. I think I do. Maybe they both scoop forward. Take that all back. But I also have this crazy bulbous chest, which. I haven't been able to do push-ups recently because it really kills my arm. I have to figure out what's going on there, how I'm going to fix it. But I've done so many push-ups in my life that my chest is big enough anyway. It's other parts of my body that need enlarging, like my shoulders. Even though, what would you say? Do I have okay shoulders or do you think my shoulders are a little narrow? I don't even know if this is a good angle for this video. I don't know if the lighting is good. I can't believe I can talk so much about tank tops. Am I gonna do pull-ups with this one to see how how it shifts? I think it's shifting back. Okay, I think we're going to. What broader, wider, you can see that there is a wider strap on it. The neck is up further. It, it just, it's a little more, it's tighter. The stitches are tighter. Uh, it's warmer. I do feel warmer. I don't feel this. That might be one of the problems today because today is kind of hot. So I like the lighter one of the Hanes. The Hanes feels lighter on. And now, do I know which one is washed and which one's dried? That would be something to say. Am I am I procrastinating on my next set of pull-ups? Maybe. Maybe I am. Uh, so this would be the washed one and the non-washed one. So it didn't shrink that much up. Like I would be surprised at how much. Let's, uh, oh, I don't have to take this one off. We can try. This is the fruit of the loom. And my guess is that it was exactly the same length as the Hanes and you can see that it shrank up a lot. So it does work out pretty well. It's still, it's st they're still long enough. They're long enough that I want to tuck them in. I don't want to leave them hanging out. It, it, this is freaking me out. This is like a tight stitch, like it stops. You can't, there's no give after that and you can feel, but there's total, there's total, it, like the, it feels infinite. I don't think it ever. I don't. It, I don't want. I wouldn't want to stretch it out anymore. But this, there's a stop, and then you can't stretch it out anymore, or you're gonna bust a stitch. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't like how these look untucked. And it's a good thing it's in style to tuck these in. And it's just mafia. I want to wear them with dress pants, and maybe that's what we'll do. Let's try another 12 and see how it's shift how it shifts by doing that action.
I have ankle weights, we scoop down, we shift forward, that I'm going to start putting ankle weights on and instead I'm doing less because 12 is pretty, 12 is pretty good for a, a set. I try not to swing and do them controlled and slow. But yeah, I think I'll put on some ankle weights and maybe I won't even be able to do eight. We scoop down, so they both scoop forward. There's something more tidy about this one. I feel more mafia, maybe, in this one. I didn't realize that it takes, it takes my breath away. I feel good about that because I didn't know I was getting enough cardio. I've only been eating carbs since the pandemic, and uh, which I thought I was keto for so long. Uh, here I am on another tangent. It's not about the food you choose to eat. It really isn't. It's about, well, it's about choosing to eat real food, unprocessed food. And I don't, from my experience, my experiment with my body, it seems that if you eat unprocessed food, you will have less body fat and more good muscle because your body will just use good nutrients to make good parts of your body. That's just how it is. So eat unprocessed foods. It doesn't matter. You can eat, if you wanna eat meats, if you wanna eat even cheese maybe, I don't know. I try to I, do, I try to avoid meat and cheese for the world. Well, for humanity, the world doesn't care. Only humanity, only humanity's existence is dependent upon if we destroy the earth because we're not destroying the earth, we're destroying ourselves. And I'm okay with that because humans aren't good. <sighs> I'm still struggling with my breath, so I do feel good about that and I think I work harder than I think I do I think because I don't do very many all I right now I don't even do push-ups I only do pull-ups and I ride my bicycle everywhere and that's all I do and and this so and it's good enough even though sometimes I might not feel good enough I gotta keep I gotta keep letting myself know that it's good enough. What else did I want to show you? Oh, I wanted to try on the, the washed Hanes one one more time because that's what they're all gonna look like. So this is the short one. This is it. And I wanna see, do I really like this one better? Will I only I have six of each. Will I always only choose this one out? Yeah, it's not as tight. I like that. That part is good. I mean, it's skin tight, It's, but it's thinner. So I guess on those colder days, I'm gonna wanna like cozy up and uh, put on the Fruit of the Loam one. And on those warmer days, this, this, one, this one I'm gonna grab for. I think I like how this one looks better. It's uh, at least it feels less awkward, even though it might not look as good. Oh, that's the other thing from the back. Oh, and that might change with this. I didn't one day, one day I held up my mirror and I looked at what I look like from the back and I hated how I looked from the back and it made me feel really self-conscious about going out in public with these and yeah these don't these don't look any better it's like I said it's the same with my hair side side on is great I like a three-quarter angle on myself but from the back I don't think I like it I don't think how I I don't think I like how it looks I think I look too thick, but it's so funny. I'm so skinny. How can I be too thick if I'm too skinny? Male body dysmorphia. It's a crazy thing. Let me tell you. 
inundated on Instagram with all of this bullshit. These, there's this, I heard statistics before, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's some really low percentage of the population has abs, but on Instagram, apparently, 96% of the population is completely jacked, at least in my feed, right? It's, why is why is health and uh, fitness an interest of mine? It's destroying me in my social media. I hate social media. By the way, let's talk about that. Uh, I always I, did. I I might have said this in the last video, but when everything when anything is pushed against me, I want to do I want to do that even more, even hard, go even deeper with that, but. It could work on a. It can work on a human level, like you. You can prove a point by doing something over and over again and saying, "Look, I'm. I'm going to do it, even though you said I couldn't do it, and I'm going to do it with confidence." But going up against a robot, I don't think it works. Like if you're going up against an algorithm that's saying, "No, we're rejecting this kind of content. This isn't going to work for you," and you're saying, "No, I'm going to do it anyway." I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do what I want to do. You can't win over a robot. You can't prove a robot wrong. So social media might not be for me. And it never was. It never did work for me. And possibly that is the reason, the reason why. Like my whole span of existence on social media, I've been, I've been on computers from the very beginning. From their inception, I was using computers. If it wasn't for computer science, I wouldn't have passed my math classes in, uh, in high school. Fortunately, computer science fell under the math department, so it got me through that. But in all of my careers, and I always ended up on the computer, no matter what line of work I was doing, I got pushed to the computers, and always on computers. So. Uh, um, when social media I was w took off I was in the middle of it but there was always this 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 peak and uh, I would know like I, uh, big influencers would know who I was like I would know them and they would know me I still I guess would I call them friends I don't know you know you, you never meet these people in real life but we know each other and but I've never been able to like be successful. Maybe because I I I, I don't I, I uh, because I can't because I'm not coherent because I can't get my point across. Anyway, I guess I'm uh, interesting enough to be noticed, but not interesting enough to. Um, keep people interested yeah I see a spider that I have to kill I I live a vegan lifestyle I guess from for the most part but I kill spiders there were no baby spiders every year baby spiders attack in my room and uh, what I did do differently is I made sure my windows were shut like I always like to have my windows open in the summertime but this year I kept them shut and I made sure my lights were out at the, and I didn't turn my lights on at night and uh, I had no no baby spiders so they were I didn't know if they were like nests somewhere in corners of that I couldn't get to in corners of my house but no it, apparently they do come in through my windows and uh, I, they didn't they didn't happen this year and I think it's too late for it to happen this year but I do see a spider in the corner and I have been seeing some spiders because I think they're trying to, I think they're trying to hibernate or nest for the, for the winter. Um, what do you think? What do you think of this? I'm, I'm liking this one better. Which one do you like better? Maybe they're both good. This one, I'm going to wear this one to the grocery store today. Feeling, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I have a pump going on right now or I feel good about myself. Is this video long enough for me to 
to call it a video. It's more than it was more than just a uh, a a a video about a comparison of tank tops. I did do a little a little decluttering. I want to do a lot more decluttering, and that might have to be the content that I do because uh, I need to be able to live my life and get stuff done. I really do want to get rid of the stuff because it is, I need to get rid of as much stuff as possible because it's what's holding me back and I might have to get up and go and I won't be able to do that with all of the stuff that I have. So that has to be done and I have to sell a lot of stuff and make as much money as possible and um, and I should record it on YouTube because YouTube could be the only as much as I suck at social media and I'm not uh, exciting enough for the world of the internet I have to at least try and uh, experiment more even though I've been experimenting for 50 years and uh, I'm, I might as well record what I'm doing so killing two birds with one stone hopefully it pays off or works out or who's gonna watch this shit <laughs>